So today we're talking the Z-Blaze 4 5.1 Android smartwatch one month later. We're looking at different combinations of settings and a battery performance for each setting. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's get into the video then. Day one, put the SIM card in, Bluetooth off, Bluetooth off, Wi Fi off, Airplay mode off, in medium. I date you on, not got a SIM card in it, but I date one and some card in. Um, I took it off charge at 2.15 in the morning when I went to work and it lasted until 7 pm. That was making two phone calls and checking the time on various occasions and about five minutes of using Spotify. Yep, you can use Spotify on this, uh, provided you've got a good signal of course, it's only 3G so it's uh, touch and go, but it's still usable if you're in the city that is. If you're in the country, you've got no chance. So day two, I had the SIM in, day you on, Bluetooth on, so I was on for about seven hours whilst I was at work, connected to my device, my earpiece, and I took it off charge about 2.15 in the morning, and it lasted till 7pm-ish, and it was on about 10% at 7pm, so yeah, it lasted a good few hours. And day three, the SIM in, Data was on, Wi Fi was on, Bluetooth was on. I made three calls that day for about a minute long each, um, a bit of YouTube, uh, about five minutes. Uh, the battery drain, drained down to 53%. Um, I took it off charge at 2.15 in the morning and it was dead by 11.30. Um, with, as I said before, using the YouTube. All the settings on Wi Fi, Bluetooth, data, simming, and then my free calls, and uh, yeah, it lasted so like eight hours. That. So if you turn them on, I think you could get about eight to ten hours without browsing, just making one or two calls. Yeah, so um, I, I reckon it's usable. If I not work any longer than. Um, Eight hours. I think you should uh, should be alright with it. Um, as you probably noticed, I've got a left band on here because this little thing here is rubbish. It's too loose. The strap falls out of it every five minutes, and it gets as it gets caught to stuff. It's quite a sticky band, um, so it grips to a lot of things and pulls it out just like that. Even if that is at the end, see how easy it slides. Just slides the clean off, and it ends up like that on your wrist. So what I've done is I pop that like that and then I bring this over there and it doesn't go nowhere. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, I've got a couple of scratches on it. But this is on the screen protector only. So there's nothing to uh, worry about there. The actual body of the the watch is pristine. It's not even I was wasn't even bothered looking after it, I just wore it. And if it got scratched, it got scratched. Um, but yeah, it fared well. As I said, apart from the screen there, as you can see, possibly. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, um, I tried I tried using Bluetooth uh, only with my phone. Um, it doesn't seem to want to connect to my phone for some reason without a SIM in it. So basically you can just use it for SIM as if it's a phone itself. Um, connect it to uh, another device um, other than a Bluetooth earpiece, you're not going to have luck with that. Well, I didn't anyway. I don't know if I've just got a dud or my phone's not connectable. Um, both got Bluetooth, so I don't see why it shouldn't be. So, yeah. So, um, Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Comment and get involved. Tell me what you think about, about the watch and the uh, Definitely subscribe for more videos like this.